Many owners of medium-sized companies are in a jubilant mood right now. The new government wants to make them a priority because they're the backbone of the German economy. These companies have been promised a lower tax burden and less red tape. Industry associations say they aren't sure they believe all the promises, especially given the national debt. We should get together and consider the question of taxes in terms of structure, and if there's potential to lower taxes, then we should explore this together. And what do the next four years hold in store for workers? Many believe they will lose certain rights with respect to job protection, for example. While a minimum wage is certainly not on the cards, a boost to the free market economy is. That's why the trade unions were disappointed by the election results. We've made it clear that the unions do not want a CDU-FDP coalition. We've always seen a high risk of the FDP being a catalyst for neoliberal policies. Fear of job cuts is widespread. Germany is in the midst of an economic crisis. Businesses and unions alike are worried about the fallout. But after recent heavy losses, there are now the first signs of renewed economic growth. Businesses and unions want the same thing, an economic upturn. We must continue to work with the principles of the social market economy to maintain stability on the labor market. Industry is proud that that succeeded last year, and now we have to work together to lead this country out of the economic crisis because an upswing is still proving difficult. Both sides are hoping that the government will offer the economy continued support, with infrastructure programs, for example. However, the new coalition partner, the FDP, opposes state intervention.